Hey guys, welcome back to another mini-sode. A while back, I talked about Rogue Ops, one of the final games developed by Bits. Bits should have just stuck with what worked about Amazing and just refined upon it. Yeah, that's them. Anyway, I had mentioned that their final console game was Constantine. Their actual last game was Payout Poker and Casino for PSP. Okay, I'm getting off topic now, so let's check out Constantine. The story of Constantine mirrors the film of the same name starring Keanu Reeves pretty close, with some slight changes to accommodate a game. John Constantine is an exorcist who has the ability to see angels and demons, and uses this power to send demons back to hell in the hopes of being let into heaven after he killed himself at a young age trying to stop these visions. He discovers a plot for the son of the devil to walk the earth and bring hell in humanity, so it's up to John to stop it. Like I said earlier, the game and the film share the same plot for the most part, so if you like the film, you'll like the game. This is Constantine. John Constantine, asshole. Constantine's gameplay is your standard third-person shooter fare. You go from stage to stage solving puzzles, collecting power-ups, and sending demons back to hell. You have a pretty good arsenal of weapons like pistols, a shotgun, flamethrower, semi-automatic nail gun, holy water grenades, and more, as well as spells that can be casted such as lightning storms, exercising demons, and most importantly, traveling to hell to bypass obstacles and obtain key items. The game controls well, like most third-person shooters do, with no real hiccups, unless you find the quick time event style spellcasting annoying, which I think is fine. With presentation, the graphics do a pretty good job of portraying the film's tone, especially in the environments, with Hell being the standout. As far as characters go, they're not bad. The demons look creepily well done, and the humans are alright, but is it me or does Constantine look more like Becky's boyfriend Mark from the show Roseanne? The knowledge in my head is quite buckety. On the audio side of things, the music is a great combination of rock and orchestral symphonies, creating a dark, haunting soundtrack. For voiceover, it's about so-so. The actor portraying John doesn't try too hard to channel Keanu Reeves, and it works, with the rest of the cast sounding okay. Can't we just skip the foreplay? Good. Someone's home. In the end, Constantine is a great example of a hidden gem. It's a fun licensed game that, depending on opinion, is better than the movie, has fun gameplay, and is quite affordable, making it totally collection worthy. Looks like in the end, Bits finally found something amazing and refined upon it. 
And with that, this is the Dolly Popka saying if you want to play retro, try going green. Go Thanks hell. for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bartosh Bowser!